This is Sebastian's review of the movie Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. This review has taken as long as it has taken director James Wan to finish his movie. Hi, my name is Sebastian. First, there was normal delays and controversies like the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp controversy. And the final controversy was the pandemic arriving and stopping everything in its tracks. But the show must go on. First, they had to write the script, create the storyboards, and in mid-2021, they started filming the outdoor scenes and then went to the studio in England. This new sequel is a really cool movie. It makes you feel like you're diving into another world with all these sea creatures and cities. and has stunning CGI effects and amazing underwater fight scenes. Jason Momoa returns as Aquaman, and he totally rocks it. He lives on land with his dad and takes care of his little baby, and when he's underwater, he is the powerful king of Atlantis with a new look. And now the stakes are higher, as new threats emerge, testing him and his loyalty to both worlds. He rescues his half-brother Orm, or the Ocean Master, played by Patrick Wilson. In this movie, they work together to save the world. Let this happen. Yeah, well, I hate this job. True king builds bridges, right? Who else returns to this epic film? His mom, Atlana, played by Nicole Kidman. His human dad, Tom Curry, played by Tamara Morrison. His wife, Mira, played by Amber Heard. Mira's father, King Nereus, played by Dolph Lundgren. And Atlan, played by Vincent Regan. And the bad guys get even badder. Black Manta, played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, takes things a bit crazy as he is slowly influenced by the Black Trident. It makes him want to annihilate Aquaman's whole family, even if he has to blow up the world. Dr. Steven Shin is so passionate about finding the old artifacts that he doesn't really see that Black Manta is becoming really evil. Introducing Black Manta's crew, Karshan the Shark, played by India Moore, and the Stingray, played by Zhani Zhao. King Kordax, played by Tom Burke, is pretty scary as the tyrant of Necris who used a powerful dark energy. The action scenes are non-stop and so exciting. The story is deep too. It's all about tough choices and learning what it really means to be a hero. Overall, Aquaman The Lost Kingdom, with all its amazing characters, epic battles, and visually stunning cinema, is definitely a must-see. I am Aquaman, number one fan.